Hey everybody, I want to say uh, thank you for uh, watching and all the comments on my videos. Um, one question that's come up a few different times on the comments section is the difference between stretching, shrinking, and what's happening with the metal when we're doing that. So today uh, we're going to look at stretching metal in a different way and it's uh, maybe a little more simplified than what we would see on a compound curve. Um, we're going to take just this simple piece of aluminum. I've turned a 90 degree bend in it and we need to take this piece of aluminum and we're going to implement a stretch along this surface. The way we're going to do that is with a linear stretching die. What we, want do, we want to create a radius in this piece so that it will match the radius of this door arch right here, the B pillar area of the car. Now, the linear stretch that I was speaking about can be done with a simple body hammer like this. Use the flat uh, wedged end of it. And this is going to be a little bit tricky to use because it has kind of an arc to it this way. And so really I want this to be flat across um, and get a really nice square blow to the aluminum when I'm hitting it. And that's gonna create the uh, stretch, the linear stretch that we're talking about. So this isn't gonna work as well as it should. I've, I've actually rounded this for using it for a couple different things because I have a different way of doing linear stretching that I'm gonna show you in a moment. But just for the sake of giving you an example, Let's just go ahead and, and show you how this would be done. By hitting this aluminum on this side with multiple blows, I'm going to be stretching it and ultimately it's going to move that metal. It's going to squish it out and create a radius this way. So, and this would take hundreds and hundreds of blows to do it. By doing it this way, we can just give you a kind of a sample of what would happen. And this is, in fact, moving the metal. If we can look down this, you can see, see the bend at the end? It's starting to move it, and it's gonna create that uh, radius that we're talking about. This is just gonna jog around this way. Now, let's speed things up with um, the planishing hammer but that I've What I did is just took, really in an experimental fashion, this lower die, and you can see I put a peak on it with a rounded surface. And I wanted that rounded surface, it's kind of broad. It's not really a sharp point. It's, uh, you can see where the metal actually makes contact with it here. And so it makes contact in about maybe uh, just a little under an eighth of an inch of contact. The top die is flat. And like I said, the bottom comes to a peak. And as this is going up and down, it's stretching that metal out. I'm trying to make this as clear as possible so you guys can understand it, those of you who've had a lot of questions. As it stretches, the metal has to go somewhere. We always remember that. Uh, it can go into itself or it goes away from itself, um, into itself when you're shrinking, obviously. But when you're pushing it away from itself, it's gonna move that metal and, and create a shape. And that's what happens with linear stretching. All right, so I've spent about uh, 20 minutes so far working on this piece, and you can see how much uh, shape has gone in in just that short amount of time. Um, and I want to show you now uh, how it lines up and fits. Here's the shape that we're wanting to match up. And this is where the piece is going to lay. So, um, and then this is going to get TIG welded in place here. But that gives you an idea of the, the kind of fitment you can achieve. 